Sometimes we are fooled with what the pupil does during the cataract procedure. This is one of my patients. Uh, the pupil looked nice and dilated. This patient did not have a history of any Flomax or similar medication use. So this is my flip and slice technique, a supracapsular um, cataract disassembly technique. So we started out with a beautifully dilated pupil, and as I'm taking the last set remnants of the nuclear fragments out, you can see that the pupil is no longer round. It's actually slightly peaked towards my side port incision. And now as I'm taking my phaco tip out, the iris is prolapsing through the wound. This patient has classic intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, IFIS for short. So here I'm tucking the pupil back in and you can see how much smaller the pupil has become. It, with about 2.5 millimeter decrease in pupil size, you lose about 50% of your surgical view. The smaller the surgical view, the greater the risk of complications. Things such as leaving a small piece of nuclear fragment in the eye, not able to get all of the cortex out, not being able to see where to place the haptics of an implant, not being able to visualize the dots on a toric implant, and so forth. So right there you saw me very cautiously removing the IA out, IA tip out because I didn't want that iris to prolapse through the main incision again. I used OVD to temporarily dilate the pupil so I could see to put the implant in. But look how much smaller the pupil is now. And as soon as I start IA and remove the OVD, the pupil is going to come down even more. Fortunately, I was able to visualize and get both haptics in the bag and the surgery went uneventfully.